This is India. Bola. So this morning we have a later start than usual and I'm making the most of our really cool eco lodge. It looks luxurious and it definitely is, but it also supports some of the local NGOs in the area and it's part of the Toft list, which is a group of hotels and lodges that support ecotourism in India. If you're coming to India, it's worth checking out the Toft list to see if you can book one of the hotels on there. Today, the species that we're looking for are the Western Hulot gibbons, which are the only ape in the whole of India, and some other primates. But we're also looking for the Ganges river dolphins. gibbons by the side of the road. There are three of them up here now and one of the biggest threats to gibbons in India is actually right behind us now. The cutting down of all these forests for, I'm just going to cross the road for you, tea plantation. So there's a huge tea plantation just behind me and you can see most of the trees in the area have been cut down leaving little space for the gibbons. Over the last 30 to 40 years, the Western Hulot Gibbon numbers have decreased from 100,000 to just 5,000 individuals. The Western Hulot Gibbon now depends entirely on human action for its survival. Everything that we've filmed so far in India has been land-based, but now we're heading to the Brahmaputra River to try and find the Ganges River Dolphins. on the Brahmaputra River in Assam in India. Looking for river dolphins. A top tip if you're looking for dolphins and whales out in the ocean or a river is to look from right to left. In Europe we tend to do everything from left to right like reading and things like that so your brain tends to skip things and fill in information. If you look this way it really concentrates the mind and the brain and that way you can spot tiny specks in the distance and hopefully see a whale or a dolphin. Look, 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 just keep looking here. About 50 feet away from us, in this direction. Come on, river dolphins. There! One just came up right here. We've just seen our first dolphin pop its nose out of the water, and they have quite an unusual beak, unlike other cetaceans. They have like an upward turned beak, which Andy is gonna get us a great shot of. Andy, quick, over here! The whole thing just breached over here. Oh my God. It's impossible to get this on camera. Sorry? Oh, oh. Is that a fish or a dolphin? Fish. Uh, so yeah, it's been two hours since we got that last dolphin shot and they're so unpredictable and not really coming up that much. I think that first shot is the only one we're going to get. I'm so sorry. River dolphin populations are severely threatened all over the world and that's because human pollution is entering the river systems. Things like fertilisers, pesticides and sewage is killing off their prey items. In fact, the Yangtze river dolphin has already gone extinct and I really hope these guys don't go the same way. We've had a great day here seeing them and I really hope you can come and see them too. Kazaranga is a biodiversity hotspot. It is absolutely teeming with wildlife here. 